Hi, welcome back to Quema Pop Creations tutorial videos. This is just a quick demonstration of one way that my mother taught me many years ago how to do a loom work edging. So here's the video. Hi, okay, so I have my um, small pieces of loom work done on my loom. And I'm going to show how I um, remove those and uh, put the backing or, um, or the ends on to the loom piece. So to remove the beadwork from the loom itself, you just need to cut the threads. If it's on a smaller loom, I, this is a real long, like four foot loom, so it's kind of difficult to get the whole thing in here. But on a shorter loom, you would just cut off your threads. Cut off the threads on the end. And then just leave them hang. And because this loom is so long, I was able to do them all on there. So I'll go ahead and cut my pieces off on both ends. And now I'm going to separate these pieces by cutting the threads in the in the middle now each one of these will be a small bracelet all right so this first um, piece I'm going to take these my my strings two at a time and I'm going to tie them together. Now every you know there's different ways that everyone does things but I'm wanted to do it this way because and this is the way that my mother showed me how to do it many, many, many years ago when I was a child. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to demo grab one from that group and then the next one. What you're going to do is it's kind of like a slip knot there. So that's kind of like a double knot every time. So then I'm going to tie that one to the next one. So I'm just going to keep tying these. To the next one. Why? I just watched her and did as she did. So, so we tie the knot on that. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. And then I'll come back and we'll um, put the... Okay, have them all tied up there. And what I'm going to do, this is some brain tan leather buckskin smoked hide. I'm going to cut a piece that's going to fit right over the edge to cover two rows on the edge of that there. I'm just going to cut just a little bit. And now, 
with that cut. I'm gonna, I want a, a slit in here to put my, my string through, but I want it to go parallel, horizontal on the end. So I'm gonna cut that little slit in there. And then I'm going to cut a string that I will use as my my tie, my lace. And now I want this to go inside that slit, but I I'll go ahead and straighten this. And now I want to put, let's see, decide which side I want to show. So I'm going to put it from this side in. And I want that to be I do really want it to be that way. <laughs> All right, got that inside there, and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make this so it'll be like that. So my <clears throat> lace is gonna come out of there, but I want <clears throat> it to be secured in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sew that hole up, but my lace is on the inside of that. So now I'm going to sew my little slit closed there with that. Lace sticking through there. And I want that secured so when I'm Sewing this up, I'm going to go through that and go through that um, lace to take a few stitches to get that closed up but I want it to be closed up but I oh. all right now I'm gonna tie that off right there and then I'm gonna cut my lace off because now it's secured and now I want my, my threads to be out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small piece of masking tape. all those threads together and pull them all together like that I want them all to stick to the tape Pull that over, and the 
this nylon thread doesn't stick to the tape very well, but the tape sticks well to itself, so I'm going to catch all that in there. Now, because my threads are all knotted, I don't have to worry about them coming loose or anything. So what I'm going to do is make sure that's nice and tight to itself, and I'm going to cut those off. So I had that cut. And now I've got my my lace in there. And I'm gonna roll that over. And I'm gonna put this right over the top of that. Well maybe might not have my well, I have to cut this down a little bit I guess I'm going to sew, <clears throat> it's just tucked in there, <clears throat> I'm going to sew this On both sides, so I'm coming through the leather on one side, but going through the beads to the other side, where I'll go through the leather, but come back through the beads. So catching all that. Oops. I'm catching more than I want. So this is a way to, <clears throat> excuse me, so this is a way to put it, leather piece on the end when you don't have a, um, the jewelry bindings, you know, or you don't need them actually. And you're not mixing your. traditional or natural with the commercial jewelry findings. work my way all the way to the end. And then when I get to the other side, I'm 
I would just go. Right up. I decided to mother. that I'm coming out. Go through and come out. Underneath. Yeah. And then I'm going to tie a knot on there. Lace tie. On the end of my bracelet. And it will stay in there because I sewed it. Now you can either let it tie. This is a child's. You can either let it tie or you can put a bead on there. Large crow bead or something. So that is what. All right, there's my short video on how to do a loom ending, um, one of many ways. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you like and share and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you would like to support me in my future uh, videos and teaching, then stop by, scan this code, and buy me a coffee. And I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.